The release of iOS 17 brings a ton of new features and changes to iOS. Most users will find a lot of these features actually very useful and will have a lot of more they can do with their device. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this update and I will show you guys the 17 things that I suggest you do once you have installed iOS 17 on your device. First of all, if you have installed any of the betas of iOS 17, the public or the dev beta on your device, and you no longer want to install them because of course you have updated to the final release of iOS 17, what I suggest you do is go to your settings, go to general, go under software update, and here we'll find your automatic updates and then beta updates you tap there and make sure to switch this off so you no longer get the beta releases for iOS 17. Now you move on only to the public release. The next thing I suggest you do is set up automatic updates, especially for security responses. Now, security responses are like small updates that Apple releases. These are not iOS updates. They just fix like security bugs and things like that. So make sure you go to general and then go under software update. And here under, under automatic updates, make sure you have here security responses and system files enabled. Really important after you have updated your device, especially to a big release like iOS 17, is to update your apps as well. If you don't have automatic updates enabled for your apps on the App Store, make sure you do that as soon as you install iOS 17 on your device. Most apps will have updates ready for iOS 17 and they will be released if they have not been released yet. They will be released the day, a day or two after iOS 17 has been released to the public. So make sure you go ahead and update all of your apps to the latest version because that's the version that is most compatible with iOS 17. Now, usually when you get an update for your device, you might get also an update from your carrier. Now to check that, you can go to your settings, go to general, and all you have to do if you get that update is go to the about section here. There is nothing you can do here, no button to press, just go here. And if there's an update, it will actually pop up right here in the middle of the screen. The next thing is check your battery health. There's actually nothing that you can do here, just out of curiosity, check the battery health of your device because usually when you update a big up the big update or even a smaller update that will actually show right here because ios most of the times won't update the battery health of your device without updating your software as well you might have noticed that when you update your software you will suddenly see here a drop on the battery health that's because the time when the iOS updates, it actually checks the components and shows the true battery health of your device. So go ahead and check at which percentage the battery health of your device is. Now with iOS 17, Apple has introduced the new contacts photo and poster, a new feature for the phone app where you can have your poster and your picture which looks something like this. So go ahead and add your own one of course, you can just go to your contacts at the top you will see of course your number here's where you can actually just like edit your poster tab edit right here you can see you will have a few ways here you can customize some like this or some like this this one as well so just choose whichever one you want you can create your own poster here and change the profile picture as well and this actually looks pretty cool iOS 17 also brings some really useful features that you can actually enable for your device and one of them is the level for the camera app so head on to your settings and find the camera settings and right here you will find level. Make sure you have this enabled and what it does on the camera app, it will show a line right here when you're moving your phone. It will show that line right there which basically helps you level your camera. So when if you wanna shoot a picture straight, you will see that line there from white, it will turn yellow. That way you know that your iPhone is straight and you can go ahead and take that picture. Next up is a pretty cool new feature of iOS 17 and you can find this feature by going to your settings, passwords and then passwords option. Make sure you have cleanup automatically enabled. You know that when you need to verify something like your email or maybe something that has to do with your bank account and you get those codes 
you can use those codes only once. Now, once you have used them, this feature will delete them automatically from your device. Now that works with mail as well. So you know that the codes that you get on iMessage will pop up on your keyboard so you can quickly use them from there. With iOS 17, that will work for the, from the mail app as well. And this feature will automatically delete them from your device once you have used them. Now, the next thing I suggest you do is try out the new interactive widgets for the home screen. Now, here I have an example of an interactive widget from a third party app, and it's actually pretty cool. Now, what we have here is an app called Quick, and it has some pretty cool interactive widgets that, like this calculator right here. So you can see if I just tap there, I can actually go ahead and calculate something as easy as that you can see the results and everything else that we need there so it's a fully functional calculator right on the home screen with a small widget so these are pretty cool so make sure you go ahead and check them out you will find a ton of apps on the app store that now support interactive widgets and of course reminders and music which are from of course apple that actually work with this new feature and have the interactive widget capability so it's actually pretty pretty cool and you will find a lot of these are pretty fun and very useful now here's a really cool thing how many times you wanted to add a wallpaper to your device but the photo didn't actually fit and it made the lock screen look really bad well, with iOS 17, now you can add any picture you want because iOS will stretch out that wallpaper automatically. You can see how it does to this one. If I just pinch out like this, it will add that like blur part right there. So it makes the wallpaper fit to the screen automatically. This is pretty cool if you have pictures that are on the horizontal mode or just don't fit the, the screen of your device and they just leave like black lines at the top and the bottom. Now with iOS 17, you will actually be able to use those. You can see it says right there wallpaper extended. That way it just fits the screen and it looks much better. Now with iOS 17, Apple has made a lot of changes to Siri, so I suggest once you have installed iOS 17, make sure to take a look at Siri and configure a few things here. First of all, Siri when locked, whether you want to use that or not, this will of course allow Siri to work on your device even though your device might be locked. Now just keep in mind that that will work so anyone with your device lock can actually use Siri on your device. And then we have listen for here. So you will have now a few options here. You have the old hey and the word, and then you have only Siri or the hey, whichever one you want to use. So if you use one of the options, you can now just use Siri without the word hey. So these are the new options to Siri on iOS 17, which you can pick from. And of course, they try to make it a bit easier without the way word hey. But this, of course, will make probably Siri launch a lot of times more than it did with the hey word. Now, another thing I suggest you do is save maps offline. So if you just maybe hike somewhere or do some stuff on places where you don't have like cellular coverage as it should be you can now download your maps so you don't have to rely on your cellulars to actually view your maps so you can just zoom in on a map and actually download it so you can see once you have searched for a map you can zoom in as much as you want and from here you can tap the download button and just like that you can move it around and you just see which part you want to download and right here it of course shows you the size of the map you tap the download and now you have that map saved offline so you don't have to rely on cellular coverage next up we're talking about screen time now screen time on ios 17 has a new feature called screen distance now screen distance basically will just block your device when you're just keeping it too close to your face now i have used this feature the first couple of days when i installed ios 17 but i found it to actually be quite annoying a lot of times it will just pop up so i just disable it completely so if you're using your iphone by yourself of course you know how to keep it at a safe distance if you maybe land it to your kids or someone that is way younger make sure you enable this because it's quite a useful feature and of course will protect protect the eyes from the screen of the phone. Now with iOS 17, you can finally now set new ringtones from Apple. So go to settings, sounds and haptics, go to ringtone, and here are the new ringtones that Apple just added with the RC version of iOS 17. 
So if you just want to have a new ringtone, now you will have a bunch of them that are added from Apple. Not just ringtones, we also have new text tones, which you can now enable. And again, these have been added to iOS 17 with the RC version. So you will find a few of them here that you will be able to use on iOS 17. Now, one thing I would suggest you do the minute you install iOS 17 on your device is head on under the accessibility settings, then go to touch and right here under haptic touch make sure you choose fast now previously you would have like normal and slow or something like that now you will have a new option called fast and it actually makes haptic feedback much faster and your device feel much much faster and last but not least if you go into focus modes if you have any of your focus modes with filters enabled now you can also add a new filter so if we go here you can add filters for mail now so we tap here and of course we can go ahead and choose any of our accounts as a filter for this focus mode so if you ever wanted to add the mail on the filter now you will be able to do that with ios 17 so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you did of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one